once you build an aquaponic system it's very easy to expand on it. What I'm going to do today is build a strawberry tower and the strawberry tower will be watered by the same high nutrient fish water as the rest of the plants. I'm starting off here with a flat surface so I can uh, I can get all the uh, legs to this stanchion all even so that it stands uh, plumb upright. Here's the plan that I drew up. It's just a rough idea. Okay, here's the basic layout. One T is going to go vertical. The T is going to go like that and that. So it's going to, on a small scale, this is what it will look like. So I'll cut some sections of pipe. I have two. It's important to note, these are not regular PVC. It's very thin walled and it's sewer pipe. A sewer pipe is a whole lot cheaper. A sewer pipe is used when you're not pressurizing the system. I'm still gonna glue it so the legs don't move around and I'm gonna put end caps in to keep the little critters out of the feet which most likely they will find its way. I already have frogs and caterpillars and birds and all kinds of stuff here because they hear the water in this aquaponic system and I guess late at night, early in the morning, the sound really carries so all the critters kind of head this way. So it is interesting to see that unfold. Alright, so I gotta work out the the distance of the jumpers. I have two sticks of that pipe. One is just going to be used for all the jumpers. The other one is going to be the stanchion. Now I have a fourth T here. Keep in mind these fittings are cheaper because they're thinner walled. If you you spend the money for this on uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe, these fittings are very expensive. They're like $14 a piece. And here they're only uh, only a few bucks. I think four dollars five dollars something like that all right so this is going to go about midway level with the aquaponic system I will trickle water down through the top and then it'll come out this T problem I have is how do I block that to hold the gravel the same three-quarter inch gravel and keep the water from running out I don't want to lose any precious fish water. So here's what I came up with. I, I spent a little bit of time at Lowe's and, uh, and kind of worked this out. The inside diameter is smaller than regular PVC pipe. This is a plug, an end plug, that you simply just crank this down. It's got silicone in there and it spreads that rubber washer and seals. So in regular PVC pipe, that's about how it's supposed to work. Um, because this won't go all the way through, I have to cut or grind with a Dremel this larger diameter. The inside is not a problem, it goes right in there. So what I propose to do is slide that right up here on this lip and expand that big o-ring so that it seals the bottom so imagine that bottom is sealed and there's the drain the water comes in and then right back out and I could just load the gravel in and it there's going to be another pipe here and it doesn't matter if a little bit of gravel gets in there because it's just, just going to trickle out anyway right through the gravel that's why it's important to use three quarter inch gravel it doesn't clog it, it aerates very well. The other thing I'm going to do is water this automatically using T fittings. These are simple on-off valves and you can you can regulate the amount of flow. I think that's going to be plenty. So I'll cut I'll cut two of these at six inches. So I'll make a note right here. Six 
inches. Okay, these are cut. I'm using a uh, circular saw to cut these, so got a little chips, a few chips, but it won't matter once it's glued up. It, it won't know the difference. Just that easy. All right, now I will work out the legs this way. Okay, we have these cut. I'm just doing a test fit now. I will I will glue all these together. Incidentally, the space of that cap is equal to that T, so it really fits nice and flat. Alright, so that's the base. To work my measurements out for the, the stanchion now. Nice and sturdy. I'll just show you real quick how easy it is to do this. This is a cleaner, and that's important because this is the base, and we want very good adhesion. I was thinking I could simply put gravel in the bottom of this before I glue it up and this thing would be very very sturdy And that's it. It's plumb. All right, I've waited a good 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and glue up this other side. And this really should just seek it's the same level as as the first connection. And just to confirm that, yep, right on the money. Just to show you how light this is, <laughs> very light. Now, if it was regular Schedule 40 or Schedule 80 PVC, you wouldn't be able to do that. Be way too heavy. And 
incidentally I cut maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch off that so the whole thing goes down in there and uh, I did that with a chop saw don't recommend that all right so what this will do is go right in there and seal against this really thin lip right here so we'll see let's see what it takes to pull that off all I'm doing is turning the screw and it's sandwiching the o-ring and causing it to spread and hopefully it spreads far enough to seal let's get pretty close it's looking like that is gonna work yeah it's sealing quite nicely in there all right so I'll just give it a few extra turns really to get a good seal I always have trouble when I go to a hardware store because I, I do do things a little creatively and and the people trying to help me just they're not that much help I pretty much have to walk around the store and experiment and see what works all right so that is going to be that and that lip is cut hopefully enough to accept the uh, the pipe in there fully seated all right I'm glad that worked Yep, I did a test fit and the pipe seals in there as if that plug doesn't even exist. So that's going to work out perfectly. Alright, it's getting there. Okay, I've rigged up a stop for this saw so it doesn't go all the way through the pipe. My pipe's laying over here. I have a little test piece and I just want to make sure I only go halfway through with this chop saw. So I'll look at it. I should be able to see See it go about halfway, almost halfway through the test piece. So that's going to work. Again, I'm just going to use a test piece to make sure I get the technique down before I move on to the final product. So what you're going to do is melt a triangle here. and have a screwdriver, preferably a lengthy one, to push the melted PVC in. You can imagine how difficult this would be if, uh, if you were using Schedule 40. I would imagine it'd be quite tough. And then hold it there until it cools down. Alright, that's what I'm looking for right there. Alright, there it is. Hmm. Isn't that neat? Shining
I turned the uh, pond pump off to do this, and it really doesn't hurt anything because there's there's always two inches of water in each grow bed, and the gravel wicks the water up to the roots. Okay, it's all done. Let me just show you how I irrigated this. For the topsy-turvy, I just installed a timer there and adjusted this on-off valve for very light flow. And I'll just set that for like 5-10 minutes and it'll water. The other valve is just open full bore here at the Y, and I just traipsed that up there, put a little clip up that I had from the aquaponics, uh, the IBC crates, and uh, then I got a little sh uh, shut off valve in there I just tucked into the rocks. So. These things, all I did was uh, take this scoop and jab it into the rocks and pry it up and then sneak the plants in underneath. The nice thing about aquaponics is that when you wash the plants in a bucket of water, you quickly notice that you have two or three plants per, um, per pot plant that you buy. So I, I didn't separate those, but I could have had maybe 10 to 15 plants out of these five that I bought. Uh, again, nothing else is glued except the base. Everything else is free fitted. I did a little slick thing here. I used the uh, heat gun and melted that and just took channel locks and bent it down to have a nice drip edge so it doesn't run back on the pipe. I don't want to lose any water. So that's it. That is the Strawberry Tower. And uh, this was the first time I built one. I figured it was going to take about an hour, but I guess it took about two. So no waste of water through there. Goes back into the system and uses fish water uh, natural fertilizer. So those things would be pretty happy, I'm sure.